today we play Best of One. The only one in Best of One. Not Virginia Taxes. Ta-da! You Orion. This is standard. Hello and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB. Today in the arena, we've got one of the spiciest decks from Worlds. Something that we did explore very early on. The, the Agatha's Cauldron, Sleep Cursed Fae, Wakami Whispered Horps combo. But did you think somebody would actually take it all the way to the Worlds stage? I love how many comments on that video in particular were like, Ah, this deck is bad. It's terrible. What a horrible thing. And yet... There you go. Some people decide to play it at the World Championships, which whether or not they won Worlds is not really what's important. They're obviously capable Magic players, better than you and I. They tested it and they decided it had a shot. It might have had just the wrong matchups or the wrong draws on the day. But I think that no matter what you want to say, you know, it's, it's in your ivory tower of judgment, that the deck has some kind of legs. It's some kind of good. And it's full of interesting cards. Like, this is very different from what I played before. The Rum Scorcher Hellkite Wincon is super clean. The activated ability of one damage to any target means that once you generate infinite mana and get a Rum Scorcher Hellkite either onto the battlefield or into the graveyard exiled with a cauldron, you just ping the opponent completely to death. Whereas my Wincon with Tyvar Stand and such was a bit more convoluted back in that day. How about Seed of Hope? Here's a card that doesn't come up very often. Mill two cards, put a permanent from the mill cards in your hand, gain two life. Seed of Hope, the archeologist, Falaji archeologist, and Ren and Realmbreaker, and in a way, kind of, Jace the Perfected Mind. They come together to create this self mill package that makes sure that all the pieces you need are in the graveyard for the cauldron to hit, but, but they also help you dig for a cauldron. <coughs> yeah. Just got a little bit of a throat thing since I came back. It keeps catching me at the weirdest times. I gotta drink stuff. Ah, yeah, it's okay. My voice has never been so tired since Vegas. Those rehearsals were intense. Meeting everybody, meet and greets, meet and beats, hours and hours of them, all of them going over time. Oh my gosh, very intense. Anyway. If my throat is hanging on by a thread, it's because I had to do the Vegas thing. If I hadn't had to do the Vegas thing, I'm pretty sure my throat would be okay. So thank you to all the people in the comments who want to be my mom and dad and mom me or dad me with their, like, go get some tea with honey. Look, it's okay. My throat's just tired. Doesn't keep me from making videos. I got more to give. Another cool addition to the deck is Rona. Rona, with its activated ability, lets you kind of keep untapping it and then draw discarding so you go through your deck. I had Mastermind. Rona's definitely better. It can throw things directly in the graveyard for the cauldron. So yeah, Rona, Kami, Fey. But don't try to grasp it all in your mind right now. We're going to go play the games. We're going to show you exactly how this combo works. This isn't going to be the video where I talk about the combo and never do the combo. That's a different video. We make those sometimes. This video combo going to happen. By the way, there's a sideboard over here for you best of three gamers, you believers, you grinders. It's over here. Well, careful with that that craft all button. And if you want to get out of the mono red and into the control and ramp, well, there's a sideboard right there for you. Now that we've talked about the deck, let's dive in. Let the nonsense... One more thing. Alexi Palo. I think that's how it's said. That's who played this at Worlds. Not giving credit to deck designers is cringe. I did it. Also, sponsors of the video, coolstuffing.com, Moxfield. And coming soon, we'll put a logo on screen soon. We're working on it. Team Ultimate Guard. All right, let's dive in. Let the nonsense begin. New discoveries await as we venture down into the Lost Caverns of Ixalan. All pre-orders come bundled with a brand new exclusive Covert Go Blue Dinosaur Token. Every single sealed product, commander deck, bundle, everything that's coming with the new set gets upgraded with a new Covert Go Blue token for free. Get your pre-orders in and see what awaits at the center of Ixalan. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. Our opponent goes first. We have double Boseju. Blech. 
Same good? It has the cauldron, so I think I'm supposed to keep no matter what. See what happens. Esper. Denik. My game plan! Okay, then. Well, that was fun while it lasted. So we are digging for witness protection, and we found it. That's what we needed. We've got to shut down the Denik, or we don't get to play Magic the Gathering. At least not with this deck. Very first game. Boom. The card we can't beat. Wedding announcement. Okay. Okay. I witness protect this. There's a Fey down there, isn't there? And we have a Kami in hand. Big game. Getting a fairy under this means we just need the Kami to go off. For Fiend. Uh-oh. It begins. Let's see what they put in their graveyard. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Make disappear, huh? Exile the Fey. Plus one, plus one counter. Opponent draws. Hellkite! You're supposed to be in the graveyard! How do we get it into the graveyard? We have to connive it? Or something? Alright, uh, Seed of Hope, I think? I guess I'll take Ren. That I cannot cast. <laughs> Love that for me. No creatures made it into the graveyard. I legend rule myself. Smooth. Cast the Kami. Maybe they'll just kill it. So this is any color, right? Okay, we can just cast this. Nice. Easy. No! Well, I guess that's fine. <laughs> we'll just get, hand out its abilities. Does that mean we can make infinite mana now? Because this will have two counters. I think we need a third counter somehow. And they might find another go for the throat as well. I mean, that's two pretty cool cards. I'm just not going to engage. I don't want to give them a chance to use Resto e Ganjo, even though I could put a counter on the Archaeologist and have it survive combat. Okay. I mean, I guess we go for this. <laughs> Another go for the throat? Always. Cut down, sure. But, these abilities are there. We just need a creature with a counter. How do we get to that? <laughs> a natural restoration can get back a sleep cursed fey, but it, no, it can't. We need a land. Badly. I guess this is two life. My goodness. All right, you. Put it out there. How much removal could they actually have, right? Okay. <laughs> Nothing I can do will make a land happen. So it will have summoning sickness. It will not have haste. So I guess we pass. Look, I'm trying to magic the gathering and they're not letting me. Curse your interaction. All right, two more cards they get to look at here. And then both lands. No, nope, we'll take it. You strike again. Now what? Go after Lord Skitter.
Do I untap? All right, now I have to get its power high enough to generate the infinite mana. Right now, it doesn't have that. Do I have another creature down here? Yes, I do. And... Okay. I have targeted this land. Please stop interacting. <laughs> I mean, I can pay, but if I pay, okay, you made a two, two, three, three, my bad. What? This is gonna be a make disappear as well. Still a point short of killing me. Uh. Well, no choice. Now we have to survive the turn. Oh wait, we can untap it. Me. <laughs> they should have countered it. Green. See, it doesn't even matter which I add. Blue. Green. Oh my gosh. I'm so good at this. I'm amazing at magic. Blue. Green. Blue. Alright, how do I get the sizing better? I guess I have to make red, right? Red. Bargain is adds mana back, but I don't need, need, really need that, right? Now I've shown them the win. So now they're gonna scoop because that's gonna take me a long time and a lot of clicking, but eventually generating enough mana to just do the damage to face to end the game. May I top 1,000 with silly combo? Cauldrons, keep. <laughs> Whoever said this was hard? Cut down on the menu, huh? I'll play you. You cut this down, who cares? Ran and Realm Breaker, good one. That should keep them busy. Mardu? I rank for a Mardu deck, isn't it? What's going on? Missionary. Well, I'm confused. Hmm. What am I supposed to do here? It's only a 2-3. I could just play out the pieces, right? Of course, we kind of want the Fae in the graveyard. I think I'll make them do something about this Jace. Because then they might not be able to threaten my Ren and Realm Breaker. And Realm Breaker can help me hit land next turn. Or is this Silex? Destroy all other permanents, you say. All other permanents. For four mana. I guess we gotta be careful now. I will mill myself. It is what I do here. Ooh, Tawara. Destroy? Destroy. I mean, if I play the Ren, they're probably going to activate this, right? Just nuke the board, blow up both of my Planeswalkers, but I milled a bunch of stuff, and I have a Cauldron. The hard part is getting to untap with a creature. I kind of want the Sleep Cursed Fae to get exiled, or to get destroyed, though. If I do this and hold up mana, let's see what they do. Strikes me as a control deck of some kind. 
Obviously, Planeswalker, maybe a big Chandra deck. I don't know. Untapping with a creature shouldn't be too hard, right? Right? They probably know what we're up to. I block. They didn't cut it down or anything. I thought they might just removal spell hit the Jace. The end on the Jace. Yeah, you got it. They probably feel great about that. It's my only Jace. Surprise. A small part of my plan. However, we do have to be mindful. They play the end. What's down there? The Kami's down there. If we can untap the Fae and give it the Kami's ability, I think this game is over. So, activate. Down to one. Down to zero. And then we can give it the ability and then we're one mana short. I think that's the word. But they do have to do something about the board. I don't think we actually have to do anything, right? We just do this. And then next turn, we go for the cauldron fey combo and it has ward two. So if they pass with just a bunch of open mana, this has to be used as a sorcery. Yeah, they let that go. They have all this open mana, so they plan to interact with this at instant speed, right? And that's fine. We drew a Buseju, so we can blow up that Silex. If they let that resolve, they've got to do something. They do nothing. Okay. I guess they don't technically have to do it yet. Uh, okay. I mean, let's add what we can add. They, they, they kind of let this happen and we can still do all of these things in response. How do we get through the deck? I guess Ren and Realmbreaker have to get us there. Might as well dose up a whole bunch of mana in the mana pool, and then we can do that instant speed whenever we want. Just get this untapped here. Here's a Ren. Let's dig. Hmm. Do either of those do anything? And Not really. <laughs> okay. Do I have a legendary creature? No. Alright. Uh, again? In the tangle. Another sleep cursed Fey. Not abandoned me. What does Otawara do here? If I have to pass the turn. If I bounce Ren and Realmbreaker, I can go again. Just gonna add some mana first. Let that resolve. Again. Dig. So many voices in need of Archaeologist. So Why not? Gift. Dig. 
Dig, dig, dig. Teachings. Not sure what that's really going to do here. But we can find out. Oh, it's probably hanging around because of the Silex. There's a Rona. Okay. Now, if I legend rule my cauldron, it loses these abilities, yes? But it's still a sleep cursed fae. So I have to generate a ton of mana, legend rule my cauldron, and then turn it into a Rona. I don't think it even matters what I generate, right? Because I can activate abilities no matter what, as long as it leaves some blue in my mana pool. Hey, I, ta I definitely hit that. I definitely hit that. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to go faster actually makes it slower. Careful. Two XP gang, get on board. Oh no, why'd I do that? Because I'm thinking too hard. Nobody saw it, it's fine. At this point, everybody's on two XP, nobody sees me. We're just untapping. The idea is to create a whole ton of mana and then play the second cauldron and get the Rona into the graveyard. And then what we have to do is draw into another... Well, at that point, we have to have all the mana we could possibly need. We're not going to have another shot at the mana. So how much mana do you think we'll actually need to go through our deck to the point where we can find the hell kite? Actually, I don't think we can. I think we're going to come up short. Don't think it's realistic. But we're going to try to find out. Epic turn we've got going here. Surprised my rope isn't happening. Was there an update so that people can play these combo decks? Wouldn't surprise me if wizards were doing something like that. I'm sure my rope will start eventually though. And when it does, that's when I probably need to make absolutely sure I've got this. All right, cauldron. Let's go for it. Rona. Counter here. Draw a discard. Draw a discard. Untap. Draw a discard. I guess we can play this to untap both, yeah. That also gets us closer to doing the thing faster. Oh, it's a legendary creature. Oh, it doesn't give them that ability of Rona. Whatever. Oh, Hellkite! Wait, we need that in hand then? Okay. What do we sacrifice? We got a token. I guess we can do that. Do we have enough man to do the thing? I 
Well, there it is. Bang. Bang. Did I add enough mana? I mean, I've got 30 some here, right? And they're at 17. It's kind of close. Totally getting there. We need 30 right there. We have 24, 28, 29, 30. I think we have like two more than we need. Which means if they gain life in some way, I can still Boseju you the Silex. Pew 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 The opponent clicking through all of this, by the way. I'm just waiting to see. You got a surprise for me? You you got a surprise for me? 12 mana in the mana pool, 6 life. Perfect. Calculated. Never didn't have it. Maybe. Alright. We done? Easy! That's all you have to do to win on Arena with an Infinity Loop combo deck. I don't know what people are complaining about. Uh-oh, 98% are coming through. Must win, must stay top thousand. I mean, yeah, Cauldron in every opener so far. This deck is great. I don't know how anybody ever lost with it. I think we get the vine stock down. I don't think the seed of hope's that important. Hmm. Hmm. Deck with leyline binding coming through could be a problem. Let's go for a Rona. They didn't kill it yet. You can kind of tell from the stick they have it though. They're lining me on tap. Okay. They just saved binding for cauldron, huh? How do we protect a cauldron from a binding? Nia Boseju, I guess? What we got? Hmm? Cascade. I do think we have to cast our creatures. I think throwing the Sleep Cursed Fey in the graveyard won't be good enough. Okay. Well, we don't want to put this out there. Of course, when they tap out would be the perfect time to Odawara, get Cauldron, exile a thing, then exile another thing and win. We just have to be careful about Sunfall. Yeah, when they tap out for Atraxa though, we might be able to get them. Okay, they're going to bind now. Why that? Wait, what? <laughs> okay. Magic is great. Um, yeah, Sunfall is a card. Let's pass the turn and use Rona to discard that Sleep Cursed Fey and try to make Sunfall look completely unappealing. Yeah. Tommy in the graveyard is pretty good, though. Ah, let's cast it. Oh, no, we have the Sleep Cursed Fey in hand. So, if I put the Kami out there... And the opponent goes for an Atraxa. We win game? I think so. All right, no Sunfalls. No Sunfalls. Beanstalk. Could still be a Sunfall. Could definitely be a Sunfall. It's a Stomper! No blue mana? Blue mana check, blue mana check, blue mana check fails. But, but, is that a binding? I mean, do I show it to him? Otawara with the binding. I need three mana because it's legendary. All right. Not yet. Don't show it to them yet. 
Dwara. All right. Land. Cauldron. Draw. What you gonna do about it, opponent? Hmm? What you gonna do? I'm gonna stare. Okay? Hey. Do I get one more counter on it? I got two creatures. I got one creature. I have enough counters on it. Two counter. I can untap it at will. And I've got the Otawaras. Yeah? All right. Pass. Protect. We can't go off yet. Don't have enough counters on the Kami. There's the binding. They were waiting for that. See the target? You target the cauldron. Okay. There is a Rona down there. Ugh. I really want a different creature to exile. So that I get the counter. Raw discard. Oseju. Okay. Well, we can get rid of this binding now. That's kind of epic. All right. Again, we can get one counter on here, but that's not infinite nana. We need two. So we hold. We have Odawar to bounce it if they try to mess with it one more time. Another beanstalk. Another card. They already drew two bindings. They only can play four. Sunfall would be nasty. Ossification. They target the Kami. Add blue. It's not going to work, is it? Wait a minute. Let's exile that, put that there, add two blue. No, that doesn't work either. So I need three mana at Odawara. But I need to do it on end step, or they just cast it again. <sighs> Ooh, that's not cool. I'm going to make four mana right now. It doesn't really achieve anything. God. Is there any way to get this to die? No. Nope. Not quite there, right? I need one more thing. Yeah, we could float the mana, and then we could hope that they cast something else, but then they just play this again. So it's not good. Yep. Of course they get this. Get the Sleep Cursed Fae. Already has the Rona ability. Let's get the Fae. Right there. Now we just need to draw it into a Kami, yeah? So we untap. Draw a discard. Pretty handy. Discard out Wara. Draw it. Brave the Wilds. Does that do anything? I think we're just trying to hit a Kami here. That is a Sleep Curse Fae. We'll take this. Okay, Odawara is three. Bounce this, get Kami back. But we need it dead. We need it either in the graveyard or on the battlefield without summoning sickness. So we have to save. Nothing I really want to sacrifice with this. I think we just hold it. Turn it into something else. Also threatening to make the 5-5. Five five. We don't really want to make the 5-5 five five though. We have Obtawara. Close game. Lots going on. Opponent punching me. What else are they going to do? Anything? Got the interaction. They have the threat. They have a sunfall. What? Okay. So, if this gets exiled, we still have what? We have the Sleep Curse Fae under here. We're going to put the Rona under here, and we're going to have the Kami. This is fine, I think. It's 
works is fine. You just need four mana on the end step. And them not to draw something that deals with cauldron. Okay, they tap out. Yes. Yes. Can't fight me. Can't stop me. All right, so it's got the abilities, right? All of them? All right. All right, let's put one more counter on it just to make that part a little faster. All right. And it has Rona abilities, so it can draw a discard. And tap for mana, and untap, and tap for colors, and untap, and tap for Rona, and discard, and untap, tap for colors, tap for colors, tap for Rona, draw deck. Find Hellkite, play Hellkite, shoot face, win the game. But CCB, does it beat Mono Red? I don't know. I haven't played Mono Red today. Maybe Katana is going to take care of it for us. Couldn't tell you. It's weird. One day, all of Mono Red was shadow banned to only fight each other. Keep. The historic brawl matchmaker come to best of one. Let's go. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll just play it. Let's we'll see if Golgari is ready for Soul Cauldron Gaming. Terrible draw, but here we are. We need to mill, man. We need to mill. We're so close to the combo already, but we're actually pretty far away. We don't have a way to get anything into the graveyard. Okay. Interesting. I think I just try to smork him. Oh, wait, is it? Oh, never mind. Takes one more mana. I knew that. I'm aware. How about another one? You're just going to cast this Hellkite next turn and give him the dragon treatment. Okay. I mean, that is a play you can make. Awkwardly legal. But hey, take action, get forest. And deliver the beating. What are they up to? Sultai something. Shieldred. Never heard of him. Looks like a legitimate business Shieldred to me. Isn't this any color? <laughs> Don't exile me. Send a message. I mean, we're just we're just gonna go beat down strategy. This one. My draft deck is overpowering you. No. Card. I fight. Card that makes a three three. I don't think my Hellkite cares, but here's some food. Okay. Wait. No! 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 Uh oh. Maybe I do have a problem. It's in the graveyard. They can exile it with the cottage. That would be our win con. Bye bye. They have a 1 1, huh? Does it have trample? It does have trample. It would probably chump it to keep the Ren and Realm Breaker, though. I think they would. Need a token to bargain. I don't have one. All right. Well, game on.
This is my 3-3. Three, three. It makes more mana now. Okay. Unbearable pain. There, in the tangle, I see a path to victory. I got I got this land. We'll play that. Whoa, blocker. What do these become? Please. It says 4-4, four, four, but they time. animated it with Ren before. It's a lot of mana though. The over slime. Uh-huh. You, you want a food? I'll, you want trade? No? Okay. What is this life I live? Okay, Beanstalk can attack. Turn this into a 3-3. Three, three. Maybe they trade? Hmm. Show me some cards. That would be a cauldron. Pretty good card. They do have mana open, don't they? Awkward. I can give out that Sleep Curse Fey ability. I need a way to get one more counter on this. Oh yeah, I can use the, okay, let's go for this. My voice beckons to all worlds. Pump up the Kami. You think they have the interaction or do you think they're just holding a food? Horses through me. One way to find out. What is this? Wait, what's my infinite mana here do? Nothing. It's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I guess it does nothing. My bad. <laughs> Look, guys, infinite mana. But, I mean, they're in a tight spot. If they can't remove the cauldron. I guess they could exile the Hellkite, right? That is the nastiest thing they could do to me. They hit a Boseju. Game on, baby. Game on. Why wouldn't they hit the Boseju? Slogurt going off. All right, how many cauldrons left? Two cauldrons. Salad plays from the opponent. 18 life. What do they do? Nothing. Well, that's good for us. Ren and Realm Breaker. Find me that cauldron. Dig it up. Do what you must. Uh, rot. That ain't it. And rebirth. Do we just try to sit back then? We can kill this Ren. Our vine stock dies. Then they probably attack our Ren, so we have to play another. No way to make it bigger, is there? Don't think so. Well, killing their Ren sounds pretty good. Get him. Now they can get back about Seiju at any time here. Which is pretty rough. We gotta get them attacking with that thing. So that we can attack them. Is a big ask. Yeah, there's the attack. No blocks. Ren to a Ren. I am witness to the end. If they have a mana up for the Boseju, our spot is a tough one. Home speaker go. Oof, teachings. Oof, oof, oof. I mean, maybe it is Ren beat down, you know? 
Maybe digging is the wrong answer. The Boseju means they can really beat us. So many need of help. I've got so much I mana, so little to actually do with it. Stand with us. We got a blocker. Interesting. Here's a 1-1. One, one. Board getting wide enough to play a bad beatdown game, but the opponent has Takanuma? No! That's really good for them. They mill three lands, too. How do you do it like that? How do you do it that good? I need to know. Yeah, I was gonna throw stuff in front to get more activations out of Ren, but it's not worth it. And remember, if this dies, they get back the Boseju anyway. They can still remove the counters to do it. Pretty sure this is the nail in the coffin, and that's the extra nail in the coffin. Boseju Slogurk. We didn't have a matchup prepared for that stuff. Command Fest Orlando is coming October 20th to 22nd. So get ready for a weekend full of Magic the Gathering in one of the country's premier vacation destinations. Get your tickets now at commandfestorlando.com.